Let us try these examples to design for a short brace column which is bending in both axes. The concrete strength is 25 newton per mn square. The steel grade is 500. The column size is 300 times 350. The effective length in the Z axis is 3.7 meter, while effective in the Y axis is 3 meter. The slenderness in terms of the Z axis is 27.7 while in the y-axis is 34.2. It is given that the nominal cover is equal to 30 mm. You are asked to assume the bar size equals to 20 mm while the length is 6 mm. The column is subjected to an Asia load of 1800 kN and by axis bending of M in the Z axis is 50 kN meter while MY in the Y axis is 32 kN meter. The axis of the columns is indicated here. You may pause the video for a while for you to work out the solution. To solve these questions, I use the Excel spreadsheet to help me to work out the solutions. The material strength is 25 and 500 for concrete and steel. Exposure class XC1, fire resistant, 1 hour, design life 50 years. The dimensions 350 x 300. The effective length 3.7 meter and 3 meter for effective length in the Z and the Y directions respectively. The slenderness ratios are given here. And the loadings are given here. In the equations, the nominal cover is given. Therefore, we do not need to calculate the nominal cover. If you need to determine the nominal cover, you may refer to this formula. The question stated that it is a short brace column. Based on the moment given, we will need to determine the MED. The MED is given in the diagram here, which is the larger value of M02 plus M min. M02 is the larger moment of the two which in the questions, only one value of moment is given for each axis. Therefore, we will assume that the value given is the bigger of the two. In fact, the value given here is equals to the M here, which need to be added up with the moment due to the imperfections, MED times EI. The EI is given in the formula here, which is equals to the effective length divided by 400. Now we need to determine the imperfections moment due to the NED times EI for both Y and Z axis. Since the moment imperfections is governed by their respective effective length, and the effective length for the YY and ZZ axis are different. The moment due to the imperfections will be different. The M02 will be equals to the bending moment plus the moment of imperfections for both axis, which is the summations of MZ or MY with the moment of imperfections and that give you these two value at the same time you will need to check for the m min as the med will be the larger value of these two the m min here is determined by the asia loops time eccentricity e naught which is determined by the h per 30 
the h here will be refers to the width or height of the column depending on the axis and the e naught here needs to be at least greater than 20. Once you have determined the m min, compare with the m02 and the med is determined. In this case, the m min is less than the m02 Therefore, the MED in the Z and the Y directions will be this. Next, since that the bending moment is acting on two axes of the column, that means we might need to check for the bi-axis bending. First, we look into the checking criteria. Based on the criteria here, you will need to have both of these fulfilled and either of this fulfill in order for you to ignore the biaxial bending. If the requirements are not fulfilled, you will have to consider the contributions of the other axis over an axis. Now let us look into the criteria that we're going to check. First, you need to determine the eccentricity EZ and EY based on the formula given. The MEDY and MEDZ is determined based on the calculation just now as given here. Divide the MEDY and MEDZ with the NED, you will be able to obtain EZ and EY. Since that the slenderness ratio has already been given in these questions, you do not need to compute this number as it's already been given. Now you check the ratio between lambda y versus lambda z as well as lambda z over lambda y. It is found to be 0 0.81 and 1.23. The value is less than 2.0. That means both of these criteria has been fulfilled. Next, we need to check for these two criteria. You know that as long as one of the criteria is fulfilled, the biaxial bending can be ignored. EY and EZ has already been obtained. Now you need to determine the B and H equivalent. As the B and H is already being given, and the column is in the perfect rectangular shapes, you can consider B and H is equal to 350. Substitute the relevant value into the equations and determine their ratio. The ratios are found to be 1.87 and 0.54. Both are greater than 0.2. That means neither of these criteria has been fulfilled. With that, you are unable to ignore the biaxial bending and you will need to proceed with the biaxial bending check based on the formulas here. Your next step is to check whether this formula or this formula is to be used. This is determined by having those ratios to determine the more critical axis. In this ratio, you will need to determine the h prime and b prime. The h prime and b prime is referring to the depth of the reinforcement bar with respect to their sections. The ratios between the MEDY with B' prime and MEDZ with H'. Prime. Given the size of the shelling, which is equal to 6, and the size of reinforcement bar, which is equal to 20, and also the concrete cover, which is equal to 30. With the given width or height of the column, you are able to determine the H' and B'. 
the ratio of m per the depth are obtained here which you found that mzh prime is actually greater than my b prime when mzh prime is greater than my h prime you will need to determine the m prime edz based on this formula the moment in the z directions will govern and the effect of the moment in terms of the y directions is to be multiplied with this ratio you have b prime and h prime you will need to determine the beta which is given in this formula substitute the asia force into the formula here you will be able to determine your beta and the beta has to range in between 0 0.3 to 1.0 based on the substitutions the beta is equal to 0 0.3143 substitute all the value into the equations you will be able to determine m prime edz equals to 88.8 kilonewton meter next you will need to substitute the med and ned into the formula and use the design chart to obtain the amount of reinforcement bar find the ratio of d2 per h it is equals to 0 0.124 which you need to obtain the interpolations for the chart of 0 0.1 and 0 0.15 based on the number substituted in the y-axis you are looking at 0 0.6 at 6 while the x-axis you are looking at 0 0.0967 refers to the chart for the d per h equals to 0 0.10 draw a line somewhere near 0 0.69 and 0 0.96 something you will obtain that the as fyk per bh fck is about equal to 0 0.42 as written here next refers to the chart of 0 0.15 do the same thing you will obtain the intersection somewhere between 0 0.45 from the interpolations of the two value you will obtain 0 0.434 Based on the numbers here, the FYK equals to 500, B and H are given, concrete strengths are given, you are able to determine the amount of reinforcement bar required, which is equals to 2,279 mm square. Provide 4T25 plus 2T20 you obtain the provided reinforcement bar here the provided reinforcement bar is more than the AS required